Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Fair Man again. Welcome back to another episode of the X and Y Randomizer. So, like, if you missed the last episode, I always say that checking out the last episode is very important, but it is very important you check out I the last episode because we got a free Mega Evolution. We got a free Mega Evolution, so you gotta check that out. I thought um, I thought you were gonna say it's like, but it's not actually important. Don't check it out. It's a waste of time. <laughs> Don't watch the last one. It, Nothing it happened. No. no, we got new Mega Evolutions, and if you watched the gym episode against Karina. Something interesting happened, at least on my end. His mega is also very, very cool, but mine ties into the previous episode. So yeah, go check that out for sure. But in today's episode, we are going to uh, get our encounter here up north at uh, Azur Bay. We kind of ended off the last episode previewing that, teasing it. Um, and then we're going to go to Kumarine City, battle Serena in front of the gym, and take on Ramos's gym. So if you guys are excited for this episode, make sure you slap the like button, subscribe, and I'm going to let Scrub introduce himself. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, Scrubs. Here, Scrub here, and I, I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm, I'm uh, excited. It's epic meme time. Wait, wait, Lynn, wait. Yeah. Wait. Ah, oh, dang it! I was gonna try dang. to get the counter before you, but I ran into a trainer. Oh, okay. Who has a Piplup? <laughs> wow. I'm tr wow. Wow. Yeah, something cool happened with Piplup in the last episode. I wonder uh, what. Technically, you know, wow. the Piplup line. I got a bag on. <laughs> bag on. So, um. Get that, that baguette. So, the thing is, the way that Soul Links work is that this is technically still Dupes Claws. I know oh, that we did something else with Spinda. Right. Is that what, we, is that how we're doing yeah. I normally wouldn't do yeah. that, but I'm, I'm fine with that. This is a very, yes. very relaxed version of a Nuzlocke, so I'm, I'm fine with that rule. Yeah, Spinda, Spinda was basically for the meme. We were just doing spin to pair, but yes. other than that, like dupes claws, as long as we're fine with it, like Bagon, uh, Salamence would be very awesome. But like, if there's something else cool in here, I'm gonna want to get that something else cool. So that's fair. Let's let's see. I hope you run into oh. a really tracked Pokemon now. It's a Tynamo. That sucks. So is that the Pikachu knockoff? No, Tynamo is uh, the first form of one of my starter options, the uh, uh, Electros. Still so trash. it's actually really, it's a really good Pokemon actually because its trash. ability, its ability makes it so it doesn't have any weaknesses. Trash. Just is what like I was trying Noah. to say. <laughs> okay, we're done recording. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the next episode later. Just end the episode right there. Uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, something I was going to mention in the last episode, but didn't because I was forgetting. Uh, we're recording two days before I turn 18 years old. Whoa! And uh, you're seeing me right now at the age of 17 still, but when this goes up, I will be 18. This is so a this is a moment. Spicy. This is a moment captured in time. This is magical. Right now I'm young, but next week I will be an old. adult. He will be With old, a... decrepit, and a waste of space. <laughs> so I caught the Tynamo. Level 25 and female. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know what to name this, honestly. I just hope I, mean... I don't get a trash Pokemon like Minoax. Oh, I ran another trainer! <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I kind of, this nickname I'm thinking of, I want to save for x -Bloud. Like, if, if an odd chance I get a member of the X-Blood family. But there's a little chance that could happen, so this nickname works with it. Um, I'm going to name it Jiro, after Jiro from MHA. I'm just making a lot of MHA references because I just finished my rewatch of MHA and the sub. And Gross. Season 5 starts starts next week from when you guys are watching this. So. Also, yes, I was showing that, and we're, you know, my fiancé and I, we're, we're in Season 4 also. Like towards the end, mm -hmm. almost fully caught up. And one of my favorite moments happened is uh, when Mirio Lemillion is like showing uh, Eerie to like around the, the campus and whatnot. And he's trying mm -hmm. and pulls like a, a prank on the people, but he doesn't have his powers. So he like spoilers, he doesn't have his powers. So he can't like just face through things to like, I don't know, as like a joke for people. So he just sticks his butt through a bush, and I thought it was really endearing and hilarious, and she did not think it was funny. But now that I keep pestering her with the same joke, now she's starting to think it's funny. It's great. <laughs> it's a good time. 
Best joke uh, ever what? in anime. Yes, Mirio has become one of my favorite characters, especially after my rewatch. You know, I, I really love Mirio. He's great. It just mm -hmm. he's a, he's a he's a he's a good character. Yeah, I heard from the manga readers that season five will be a very special time for Mario. Oh, really? Uh, nice. Yeah, so we have that to look forward to. That's that's um, one thing I would love to do is like to start the My Hero Academia manga, but like mm -hmm. I'm busy with other stuff, man. I don't got the time or the money. Ah, oh, <laughs> dang it! <laughs> I ran into a great Pokemon. What is it? Not Vanillax. Well, I know that much. <laughs> it's a Caterpie. Oh, okay. I like Butterfree. A Butterfree, a Butterfree Electros pair does not sound too terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. Yeah, I mean, I already have an Electro type and a Water type, but, you know, uh, you already have a Flying type, right? So, sure. Well, say yes, so I don't have to use it. I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> about JJ the Jet Plane. He's not a Flying type, he's a Dragon type. I'm going to nickname this, this Caterpie after a very, uh, very original naming con con convention. Come to it? me, Mothra! Oh, Mothra. <laughs> yes, I'm super clever. I mean, I just name all my Caterpies Bugsy, so I'm. Uh, it's more unique than my nickname, so kudos to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I worked really hard. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, what are we doing? We're going to... What What are we doing? There's Where a train at? station all the way on the right, so Do we as soon as you get to the, the shore... Do I have to talk to uh, anybody? Yeah. Sycamore anybody and Diantha will be there. Inside. And Sycamore gives you fly and sends you on your merry way. Mm, that's dumb. I'll skip. A TM quiz? Here's a you, question. Just press A. <laughs> just, oh, okay. It is, it is one of those. Ha-ha! Actually, I don't think I'm getting this right. Yeah, I'm getting this. I'm getting this wrong. You lied to me. I just... I you just lied to me! Over and over again. He gave it to me. <laughs> I got karate chop. Awesome. Wait, what? You got karate chop? Yeah, I'm the best. Just... You're supposed right to get fly from Sycamore. No one's ever going to keep... Oh, I'm not at Sycamore. Oh, uh, okay. Then. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I diverged from the path because I knew uh, that one person who you'll see when editing um, gives TMs. Oh, this pompous okay, okay. professor. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want any of your pomp. Also, That's a really low, weird phrase. <laughs> low key, you you two have the same hairstyle. Low key. Me and the, that guy. Yeah, I, Sycamore. I, kind of, kind of not, but kind of. I have anything I in mean, this in this game? I would say so. I got a shiny stone uh, from the the special shop guy in the Pokemon Center. Over Wait, here. where are you in the next town? Yes, because I'm not. Oh smart. my gosh. <laughs> uh, wait, am I supposed to be flying or are we getting on this monorail? You're getting on the monorail, okay. you have to talk to the lady. Okay, the I got on it and I was afraid for a second. It's like, no, don't go there. <laughs> They'll take you to the beginning of the game. You'll They'll take you to, to the end of the game. You win. <laughs> You'll have to start over. Uh, oh, yeah. You I just went deleted. south. Wait, what? <laughs> I just went south and because uh, I, I was looking to see if there was any items, but I'm not supposed to go south. Um, Don't do it. You'll get time to battle. Up. Time to battle Serena. Serena Neener? Wait, why? Oh, it's another potion. Come on. <laughs> Wait, but why? Be creative, game. Why though? Why? Why we have to fight her, the woman? Cause she's like, I'll see you at the in front of the next gym. That's what the whole hollow clip was about back there. She's like, let's meet up in front of the first gym. I want to battle you. Okay, so I have a Gardevoir right, and I have a Garchompite. You're getting Mega Stones. Yeah. I got Evolution Stones. <laughs> this game is like, hey, Megas are cool. I'm like, haha, they suck. No, I actually, <laughs> I actually like them now. I used to hate them. 
But now, now, I, I tolerate them. Hey, Landon. Hey, Noah. Guess what was a week ago? Uh, well, today, which will be a week ago if you're watching this day come out, was uh, Super Mario Day. Because, you know, March 10th, and they like to be cool like that. Wait, are we um, fighting right now? I mean, I am. Okay. I literally okay. have nothing against this Torterra, so I'm kind of hoping it doesn't bust out a ground type move against my uh, poison type here. Okay, I'm doing uh, It just battle. used Mega Drain. It just used Mega Drain, so. Tornadus? Why? Tornadus. <laughs> Why? I literally have no idea what to use on this, because if I. Same. Okay, Dazzling Gleam works. Dazzling Gleam works. It's not using a ground type move, it's just using grass type moves, so. I should be good. If it uses his Earthquake right before I kill it, I'm going to scream. Okay, it just used Bite. What an idiot. I and I'm faster, so... <laughs> I have nothing for a flying type. Me neither. Me neither. We're part of the no-flying type What do you mean? Game. I thought you had electric type. Yeah, I have an electric type that is an Electabuzz that isn't a flying type. <laughs> no, nothing for a, a flying type. Like, to deal. Yeah. Oh, to deal damage to yeah. a flying type. Okay. I thought you were saying you had no flying types on your team. I was well, like, I mean... same. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. It's awful. Kirishima, you're about to become very close to me because you're destroying this Jinx here, my least favorite Pokemon of all time. And uh, we love destroying Jinx whenever we get the opportunity. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Bye, Jinx. I hate you. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, uh, like we were saying about Mario Day, um, I, I just wanted to discuss, uh, since, you know, Mario, is, besides Zelda, is my favorite non-Pokemon franchise, I wanted to talk about our favorite non-Pokemon franchises. So, what is your favorite non-Pokemon video game franchise? Um, oh my gosh, I have no clue. I've already mentioned this before, right now, at the moment, it has to be, uh, the Souls series. I've kind of fallen in love with them, so just recently they are like, they're like my love. Um, but I would say for the most part, I don't know. Um, either Legend of Zelda, but if not that, either uh, Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest, one of those. Okay, gotcha. That's my selection, um... my slew, slew of options. I'm like a Nintendo guy, so like any of my answers will usually be Nintendo stuff. Like Mario. Um, yeah, and Zelda. And Mario. And, and Mario. <laughs> and Mario. Also, she sent out a dust noir. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I sent out my dust noir. You're gonna die. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna win. She can't take these hands. Also, I'm okay. gonna use Kinesis. And it dodged. I am making pursuit. poor decisions. I'm making poor decisions here. I'm very glad that this Go Goat is using Bulldoze and that Bulldoze is not doing much because literally all I have to use against this thing is two Pokemon that are weak to ground. So I'm glad that it's not doing that much damage. Fury Cutter, do me justice. Do a lot of damage on this thing. Yes, it killed it. Let's go, Sasha. This Dusnor used Curse, so it took out half of its health. A little bit scary. But hopefully I can finish off with this Shadow Sneak. Let's see. Also, by the way, like my camera is obstructing my view, which is great. But I killed it. So even though I was playing Risky, we're doing okay. Fantastic. Also, yeah, Serena, Serena's not been easy on us lately, so. <laughs> very true. Very true. Also, she's going to set out a Mewtwo. Stop. <laughs> Why? She seems to be scarier for you. I, I know. I battled a starter. Death would oh, be great, but he has the curse on him, so it's like I can't use him. So I'll, I don't know. I'll send so now. I'll figure this out. <laughs> oh. I, for, I forgot you named it Death. I was just like, Death would be great. I'm like, no, it wouldn't. We're trying to keep them alive. We're trying no win. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Death was doing good because Death is like literally uh, level 38. It's my strongest Pokemon. Death is level 38? Wow. I know. So is Queen. Uh, They're both level 38. Beautiful pair. Um, this Mewtwo scares me. 
She sent out a floor just and I one-shot it with Kirishima. Kirishima is doing some damage this battle. Alright, what's your last Pokemon, Serena? You have one more, right? I didn't miscount. Cloyster! If that's your last Pokemon, you suck. <laughs> Let's use Denki! Weird. Also, uh... uh I, I can't find the word here. I, I don't want to say solution, because that's definitely not the right word. Uh, but, uh, recently, I have decided that um, my favorite anime is no longer JoJo. I is like it my hero? My, yeah, I like my hero better now. <laughs> I, I'm just going to admit it. I, didn't, I was trying to avoid it, but, like, <laughs> it's just so good. And I love hero stuff and, you know, the fact that there's an anime based off of it. And I've seen it twice over now, so that's also something. I, I just love my hero. That's funny. JoJo's still good, though. JoJo's still really good. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe if I rewatch JoJo again, which, um, if they announce Stone Ocean next month as the... Because the, they announced, like, three or four months ago that there's going to be a JoJo con and they were going to announce something big. Um, so if it is the uh, Stone Ocean anime, I will be rewatching JoJo from the beginning in dub. So maybe I will re-decide that I like JoJo more than... It's, it's, I, I'm one of those people that changes their mind on something uh, when it's something recent that they've experienced, you know? Gross. I mean, it's like a... It, it makes sense. It's not actually, like, gross, but at the same time, gross. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I don't know. I'm kind of like that, but I'm not. Like, I just love Shonen, and so whenever, like, a good Shonen comes out, I'm pumped about it. But, like, no matter what, I don't even... Like... Anything can come out, and I don't think it'll ever take my favorite anime spot. And that's just Dragon Ball Z, and that's just because of partially because of nostalgia and just growing up with it, and just mm -hmm. because of how much it shaped it shaped me. But like the closest thing right now is Berserk, but like I'm not watching the anime. Like I watched the old anime, the 1960 68, and then they have the new one with the CGI. I haven't watched that yet because I'm reading through the manga, which covers it. And so, I don't know. It's a, it's a mess. It's a mess. But, yeah. Suffice to say. Suffice to say, games that aren't Mario. Mario's going to die in a couple weeks, guys. March 31st is creeping up on us, and everybody knows. As soon as March 31st hits, Mario is just dead. Because Super Mario 3D All-Stars is leaving the shelves as well as Super Mario uh, 35, that game that's kind of like Tetris 99. <laughs> should I should I buy that game? No, not Mario 35, but the other one. All-Stars? I, I, I'd say it's worth it, because I, I, I played, have it. I haven't played Mario 64, I haven't played Sunshine, and I haven't played Galaxy. You're missing out on Galaxy the most. That's really? all I gotta say I about like, that. I feel like I would, in, I would enjoy 64... And Sunshine a lot. Those, those, is... those two are the ones that I want to play. But... I don't know. I don't know. I always wanted to play Sunshine for the longest time because people always talked about how great it was. And then I tried to do it as a YouTube series. And the way that ended up was absolutely terrible. So mm. I just think... Honestly, don't cancel me for this. But I think it's kind of overrated. Still wow. a great game. I, I will admit it. It is a great game. It, wow. It's just not... Cancel I'm not dying to go back to it. I'm not dying to go back to, to playing it again. I haven't played it since I canceled my series for it. Also, so. also, I lied. I did play uh, Mario Sunshine once. I, I played 64. I don't really remember that one too much, but I remember playing 64 once, and it was at McDonald's when they used to have like game consoles at McDonald's sometimes. So that's Man, my that must have been a cool era. era. <laughs> it, it was. It was a great area. It was, a, it was a good time. Buy buy a I mean, little M McDonald's meal and then play some play some Mario. I remember there being a Super Nintendo at the laundromat my mom used to go to, but that's the most I ever had playing video games outside of my house when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Unless it was like a friend's house or something like that. Yeah. Um. So where are you right now? Did you beat Serena? No, I'm still in the battle. Remember, I'm slow. Oh boy. <laughs> 
Well, I, I'm just trying to get through the gym right now, so. Hey, she had some power, okay? <laughs> she was throwing ledges at me. All right, all right, I defeated her. Yeah, well, you're interesting. Way... I am interesting. <laughs> the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get to Ramos, and I'm not going to start the battle, because I don't want to repeat of the Hour of Power. Yeah, so it... <laughs> yeah, we, we should have saved that for the, the next episode, but we didn't. We were too excited. Um... um... Yeah. I So, uh, sad moment. This trainer just brought out a clef key. Ah! I love so, clef key. I, I'm just trying to figure out what to use against it. Clef key? Probably switch to Empoleon. Clef key is the X and Y snob. For me. <laughs> oh, this gym! Yes, the grass type one with all the ropes. This is like the only other gym that like comes to mind when I think of like X and Y gym. Yeah, this is like the number one I think of when, well, besides you know, uh, the gym. Uh, what's his name? The one we were literally just talking about. The one that told me to Grant. Like, do some cliff diving. Told me to jump <laughs> off a cliff. Hey, look, Artist yes. Landon. Landon, Whoa. it's you! Wow, I'm gonna defeat you! I don't know why Landon is like a really common name in randomizers. I I, I'll defeat you, Soul Link partner! <laughs> oh my gosh, this trainer is literally just taking all your dead Pokemon. Mine? Yeah, because it sent out a Clef Key first and now it brought up Typhlosion. Is that the ghost of me? <laughs> Possibly. Oh my gosh, that's awful. That's scary. Be careful. I would not well, trust this, that dude. This Typhlosion is her last Pokemon, so yeah. Goodbye, Typhlosion. Again. <laughs> I forgot, Once I killed... again, I killed Typhlosion. Yep. I should die. Pour out that ketchup. I forgot I turned off my XP share, and I'm going to turn it back on. Because Gross was not learning any levels. Which is no good. He needs it's levels. Gross. Gross! I remember, um, like, when I was recording this gym for, uh, my X series, my original one, mm -hmm. I don't know why, I must have been talking about something really good, like, something I was really deeply in, in to my own discussion with, because I was already halfway through the gym, but I forgot that I needed to press the A button before skipping across the ropes, because so I was like, oh no, is the game, like, glitched out or something? Like, I can't move across. <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna my cut and try working. to figure this out. <laughs> And then immediately after I cut, I pressed the A button and it brought me across. And I said, "Never mind, guys. There's no cut. I'm still here, just looking like an idiot." <laughs> it's a good time. She has a Gibble to start off with. That is a ground type. So I'm gonna switch out to Queen, who has a Fairy type move. I know I mentioned that it was ground type, so it just uh, uses it didn't like matter. Earthquake. <laughs> well, I, I was I. It's using Sand Tomb. I was saying that because, you know, it's kind of pointless for me to point out it's ground type when I'm switching out to a Pokemon to use a move that's super effective against Dragon. So, uh, <laughs> it's very important. type to talk about. Time to dazzling gleam this thing to death. Goodbye, you tiny dragon boy. Or girl. It's a female Gibble. Bye! You know who. You, you know what I love? Trains? Spoons. Lots spoons? and lots of spoons. Mega so, Mega Alakazam's awesome. He's good. I like it. Oh my gosh. This gym is messing with my feelings right now. Is it she's a, bring... Did it send out a Dragonite? <laughs> no, she's sending out a Tyranitar. Oh, just wait. Just wait, a Dragonite's gonna come. <laughs> well, she's only got two Pokemon and she brought it. Oh, it's a Mega. They it's just a sent Mega Tyranitar. now. <laughs> this, this is this might as well just be the ghost gym. It's all of our dead Pokemon haunting us now. Yeah. It's like you guys suck too much. <laughs> and I literally just got one of my dead Pokemon, but you know, automatic Mega. So. Yeah. So nope. it's like that. The original didn't even matter. Let's be honest. It was kind of insignificant, to be honest, compared to this one. Yeah. Uh, one thing that, that sucks, though, is that, like, the series I've been mostly avoiding trying to name, uh, like, doing repeats of naming Pokemon after people that, like, I, I support and, you know, Poketubers and stuff like that. 
Uh, because, you know, duplicates, some people are going to be like, hey, you've never named Pokemon after me and stuff like that. I've just kind of, like, yeah. dropped the shtick. What the but, heck, uh, Inferno? You, know, you didn't having... name a Pokemon after me. What's that about? What, you think just because <laughs> we're doing a series together, you can't, can't do that? What? I have named a Pokemon after you, though. An Ultra Moon, remember? No, I named I meant, Star, I, Star I meant, after you. I meant this series. Well, to make you feel better, I haven't named any Pokemon after anyone this series, so you're well, not Well, I'm offended. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Are we... I feel like I'm getting close to the end of this. I am very lucky that I ended up knocking out the Tyranitar because it got a crit rock slide, and uh, Venusaur was only on 13 HP, and it had Sandstream going, so uh, we would have lost Venusaur again. <laughs> but thankfully, I pulled through. I would have thankfully. Been, I would have been really sad because I love Alexam, but a very, <laughs> very small portion of me would have been a little bit happy. Just because it'd be a little bit funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, um, it, it would be my little bright side. The whole reason I was mentioning the whole PokeTubers thing is because, uh, you know, my starter in Ultra Moon was named after Spot D321. It hmm. was Spot D. And uh, I was very, very happy that my starter survived to the end of the series. Because, like, every time in a series when your starter survives to the end, it's just like, you know what? I did it. I mean, all the way with this dude. Or dudette. Unlike, or this. unlike this series. <laughs> unlike this series, where we lost both of our starters. Yeah. I, 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 I'm on a good well, streak of obviously doing calls. <laughs> obviously, we lost both of our starters. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm at Ramos now. Where are you at? I don't know, man. I don't know this gym. I feel like I'm close. I feel like this is the last trainer before it. Well, as soon as you see the slide, you gotta know that you're like really close. Yeah, I, you can I saw the slide at some point. Okay. So I think um, I'm right we, there. We're at about 28 minutes right now. Yeah, so good. We, I I had a feeling we we're there. We could do it depending on how long the battle is. That might not no. be the greatest idea. I no. think we should just stop right in front of Ramos. Yes. Yes. That'd be a good idea. Yes, I need I need some time to like plan a strategy. Against this old geezer. He's lived a lot of years, okay? <laughs> he, he's the gym leader for some reason, so... You know. Okay, yeah. I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm not ready, but I'm here. You're at Ramos? Yes! I'm there. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was just gonna discuss what will be happening in the next episode before we close off here, because... Let's do it. You know, we got, we got time. So, in the next episode, uh, we will be heading... Well, we'll be doing the gym, of course. Of course. And if we have plenty of time, uh, we'll start heading to the Kalos Power Plant area. You know, where Gross. that magical stuff happens. Um, and, uh... Then, uh... After, after the Kalos Power Plant, we it's basically a straight shot to Lumio City, because, you know, turning on the power leads us going to Clement's Gym, because, you know, Lumios is all powered up again, so we could see another gym in the next set of episodes, but uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys, so if you did enjoy it, make sure you slap the like button, subscribe to me and Hero Scrub. He is down in the description. Uh, my little outro that I have in every video, his thing is also there, his channel, the link to his channel is also there, so you have many ways to get to Hero Scrub's channel. So if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you um, doing? But, yeah. Uh, also, let us know uh, what your favorite non-Pokemon series is. And if you watch MHA, uh, how excited are you for Season 5 next week? Also I'm excited! Sure Wait, is that uh, next week? Well, next week when they're watching this, it's two weeks for us. I'm excited! I am. I'm, I'm excited, too. I got my MHA poster over there that I probably I always... won't I probably won't watch it when it comes out. I probably will. I mean, yeah. I'm just too busy. Uh, I'm just too busy. Like I have Naruto to catch up on. That's something I haven't started, so <laughs> Well, <laughs> there's a lot of episodes, so maybe maybe hold off on it. Uh yeah, but you got any final words besides that? Yeah, I have um let me see. One, two, three. 
three, four. I have four sentences, so let me read. read let me do my four sentences. Ho! Oh, so he made it clear up here. I'm the gym leader. Ramos is the name. Why are you battling Ramos? I actually pressed A, okay? It's fine. I'm not in the battle, so it's fine. This is just a little hint of what's what's to come next episode. So, yeah. I'm scared. Be intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to start the battle, so this is Inferno Man and Hero Scrub burning out, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.